we want to find the length of the bottom of the mountain, which is P, up to the top of the mountain, which is Q, so this line, PQ. And how we're going to start here is we have two, two similar features here between these two, these two, excuse me, these two triangles, and that's the line DQ or QD, whatever you want to say. So I'm going to go ahead and use is I'm going to base this off of the tangent off of both of them. So how I'm going to do that is the tangent, and th this is for uh, triangle DQ, DPQ, uh, tangent of 25 degrees, is equal to, I'm just going to call this Y over here, I'm going to call this X, and then from D to R, that's going to be X plus 1,000. So this is going to be Y over X, and then the tangent, yeah, 15 degrees is equal to y over x plus 1,000. All right, so what I'm going to do next is, uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to solve for tangent of 25, or I'm going to figure out what y, or what y is equivalent is, so tangent uh, ends up being 0 0.4663 and then I move x over and that's equal to y so we can substitute y into there so the tangent of 15 degrees um, that ends up being um, 0 0.26795 roughly keep my digits out there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this denominator on there so it's going to be x and then I get plus 267.95 is equal to y, but I'm substitute x in for y, so I get 0 0.46633x. So I'm going to subtract x from there, x to the right side, which gives me, um, it's going to get me, let me see here, oh, where am I? Darn it. Give me a second. All right, so then I'm going to divide through by the coefficient of x, and then ultimately I'm going to get x is equal to um, 1,350.89 feet. Okay, so that's what this equals over here, 1,350.89 feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, sine, a lot of signs here, so I get this is 65 degrees. There's a few things I could do. All right, so I'm going to take sine of 65 over 1,350.89 feet. It's equal to sine of 90. This should be easy because it's just 1 over, um, I'll just call this line PQ. Now I'm across multiply, so PQ times sine of 65 is equal to sine of 90. Um, I'll just make that 1, 1 times 1,350.89. So this ultimately ends up being uh, 1,350, so PQ is equal to 1,350.89 divided by sine of 65. And we end up with 1,490, I got it rounded to 0.5454 feet. Uh, the answer in the book that I had was 1,490.48 feet. But, well, I guess it's just some rounding errors I made, or rounding differences I made during my problem. But anyway, this is what I got. This is a solution. So that's how you solve it.